Hi guys, I'm Genesis Moss, and this is my review of The Walking Dead, Meryl Dixon action figure from McFarlane Toys. Meryl comes packaged on a very plain The Walking Dead blister card. And on the back of the package, it has a selection of other characters and figures available on the line. And here he is guys, Meryl Dixon out of package. Out of the package, this figure looks really great. I think his sculpt is fantastic. He has a wonderful head sculpt especially. I think that the people who sculpted this figure really got it spot on to how the actor Michael Rooker looks as Meryl Dixon. So when you get this figure, <laughs> Be ready to be very happy with the face sculpt. He comes wearing a wife beater with a tan shirt over top. He still has his left hand, but just like in the show, his right hand has been amputated and now he has that awesome bayonet going on there. His pants are just a regular cargo pants with looks what looks to be steel-toed boots. He's got some places for his weapons, even though the only holster that actually works is the holster for his handgun. The back just looks pretty much the same as the front, and all the way around, he's just a pretty basic action figure. His details are nice, but again, nothing super special going on with this toy. Meryl comes with three accessories. The first one I want to talk about is his machine gun, which broke the second I took it out of the package. This is my problem with this toy, as it feels to me that he's made of a very cheap plastic. And how that gun broke on me just instantly, that right there shows the quality of plastic that McFarlane Toys is using with this toy line. He also comes with a hand knife, which actually looks pretty decent in his hands. It's not the greatest accessory in the world, but you can still get some pretty cool poses out of him and make him look like he's really going after somebody. His next accessory is just a simple handgun. It's got a nice paint job to it and a decent sculpt. And once again, you can get some really nice poses out of him with this weapon. So let's go ahead and take a look at Meryl's articulation. His head moves at a full 360 degrees. You can nod him up and down. Very good movement out of the head. His arms move up, down, and all the way around. Elbow cut articulation. Elbow swivel. wrist cut, and wrist swivel articulation. He does not have any sort of ab crunch or waist twist articulation. His legs move really awkwardly out. I don't know why they made that odd cut of articulation there. His knees have a knee cut and knee swivel. And he also has ankle cut and ankle swivel articulation. You can get some pretty nice poses out of this guy, and the articulation is fairly decent for what you get. Overall, how I feel about this figure, I think that his sculpt looks really good. The paint job is really nice. The big problem that I have is it just seems that he's made of a very cheap plastic and could break on you very easily. So, if you pick up Meryl Dixon, I would pick him up and keep him in the package because I'd be too terrified of him breaking now knowing what kind of plastic these toys are made from. And that's it for my review of Meryl. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter at IHaveThePower82. Check out our Facebook page and our sponsors. All those links are in the bottom at your show notes. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.